As many deemed this year's August Monday Parade a success, including Colin Scatliff, chairman of the BVI Festival and Fairs Committee, there are several others who were questioning whether or not the Virgin Islands culture is being lost as concerns have been raised regarding certain aspects of the parade, such as conduct and attire at the event. JTV News' Walter Barrett has more. There have been much talks in recent times surrounding the BVI's emancipation celebrations, and particularly the Emancipation Parade, which has come under some scrutiny as persons from various walks of life begin to question whether or not the culture of the BVI is being lost at the event. There is the concern as well that the celebrations are no longer as they used to be, and generations to come will soon not have any piece of BVI culture to hold on to during emancipation time. Speaking with JTV News recently was Movin Foy, winner of this year's Adult Individual Traditional at the Emancipation Parade. Foy spoke about her displeasure with what the parade has come to, citing such things as revealing costumes and lewd dancing as cause for concern. Last year, I mean, year 2010, I, we had a meeting in um, the festival committee. So I told him, I tell him how I feel about festival. I mean, festival here in our country is have no respect for our culture anymore. I know our, them don't know what I'm celebrating, and it is BVI. I think we need to have, thank God, put God in front of us. That's why the biggest part of our festival. Um, we say we're celebrating. Emancipation Day, we post to praise God, bring in the church in wall in, in, festo in, in festival and get together like a family. Not to have these naked women with these things, have kids around, with these short clothes on, having a body out. There's no respect for our culture. We say we need culture, we need culture in the BVI. We don't need um, Trinidad carnival here because it's not look good for our culture, that's not our culture we celebrate in. But not everyone shared the same sentiments as Marvin Foy. JTV News also spoke with Colin Scatliff, chairman of the Festival and Fairs Committee, and he said he doesn't believe that it is a matter of losing sight of BVI culture, but rather an issue of marketing as the BVI is expanding and taking on the form of parades around the world. We may have seen changes in the, the type of costumes that um that that are being used, but we also you're gonna keep in mind that we are it it it's it's it is marketing, um, and we see you know parades around the world that that um that are colorful that are you know of different styles, so it is it is a way of being modern per se, um, and not. Not so much as being the, you know, all the troops are in the traditional kang kang dress and, you know, um, and the wrap around the head kind of um, kind of um, dress material. Um, it's nice to see those uh, as well, but you got to keep in mind too that um, at that, that point, that those days you probably had, you know, ten or fifteen entries. So you, you have, you know, we have forty-five plus entries now and. Um, and it's well diverse, so it's it's a diverse uh, parade, and um, you know persons are are having a little fun doing it, and I I, I don't think it's um it's a, a way of changing our our what's considered to be cultural. It's just a form of bringing it more into modern times. Also speaking about the change in dance and costumes at the parade was Joanne Harrigan, this year's queen of the band for the winning adult troupe Treasures. Harrigan said that in terms of the costumes that are worn today, many costume designers are reluctant to work with some of the more traditional concepts presented to them. Harrigan also said that today's paraders want something different, and this also leads to the final product that is seen on parade day. True to fact, it has been said, but with the modernization of our lifestyles and the internet, the television, the way we see things now, it's the participants in the parade do not want to wear cultural stuff. You know, we might feel, oh yes, it's part of our culture to go into a quadrilla. Sure, they, they, they adhere to that, but they don't want that. I mean, you look anywhere at any festival, well, carnival, because we're one of the only islands that have a festival, but you look at anywhere that have carnival photos and you see these costumes, which some might say a little bit too revealing, especially for the different variations of ages and sizes, but that's what the people want. 
and you show them a costume and say, okay, this is, I don't want that, you know, I don't want to wear that. So it's kind of hard. And then you have the people that make the costumes. Their idea is, no, what you're telling me is not going to work. Even if you tell them, okay, we're from the British Virgin Islands, we want to depict something. They would try their best to make it as modest as possible, but in, in, the, in the costume making world, that's not an end. JTV News wanted to hear from Luz Hodge Smith, Director of the Department of Culture, as to what her thoughts were on where the Emancipation Parade has come from and where it is now. Smith said that she was approached by several persons who expressed concern about the type of dancing that takes place at the parade, as well as the clothing that is now worn, and she said that there are many others who share the same sentiments. According to the director, such concerns mean there is a need to go back to the drawing board on these events, and guidelines, which are currently not present, need to be put in place. It's kind of ticklish in terms of the Department of Culture working along with the Virgin Islands Festival and Affairs Committee. So together, we will have to go back to the drawing board and um, bearing in mind the concerns of the, um, the community. And if one or two persons are speaking, then you know there are quite a bit more that are not speaking but have the same concerns. So even if it's just a handful of people that are crying out, then we know for sure that these are the views of some more people who are not necessarily um, as outspoken of those who are. So we still have to bear it, these things in mind and possibly go back to the drawing board. And if you don't see um, changes into effect immediately, but gradually we will see some changes because it's, we really need to understand and we need to get to people to understand why we're celebrating and get it in their heads and they will also be mindful and not to to chase them away we don't want to chase them away because we really want to see from this parade which was a grand parade um, despite the views of others um, we want to see them continue to grow and really really understand the significance of their participation and not just to get an opportunity to dance in the streets during Wednesday morning's episode of Morning Ride Show, Minister for Education and Culture, Honorable Andrew Foy, gave his input into the matter. As one caller mentioned, it is being said that the performances, particularly at the villages, are tinged with vulgarity. The minister said that although there have been some guidelines given as to how persons should conduct themselves at the events, it is difficult to control everyone. You would hope that people would always conduct themselves in an orderly manner. Mm -hmm. um, but I know for sure as minister, I can't control everyone. Yes. Um, we, we have uh, make sure that we made it clear how you should conduct yourself. Mm -hmm. um, but it's, dif it's difficult to control everyone. Uh, and it is not here alone. This is something that happens um, globally. And when you, when you have a, uh, over 40 something troop and you have a, you know, divorced persons there, whatever the case, you could set the standards. There will always be one or two that, that fall out of place. I, I, we will do our best to, to, to deal with it. Um, but it's not as, as, as simple as the songs. Um, it's not as simple as the songs. According to Minister Foy, it is up to the parade committee to enforce the rules and guidelines that govern the Emancipation Parade. However, as was stated by the culture director, there is a need to revisit those guidelines and ensure that some sort of stipulations are given and met as soon as by next year's event. This is Walter Barrett for JTV News.